All right. So today, may I say that? Today I'm going to show you uh, where I blend on the back legs. So, depending on how much hair you have down here, she's growing out from her short, short summer dew. But if I had a lot of leg hair down here, which let's do 90 to the camera, um, I would need to fill this in more, which we are. Because, see, when you have this hair gone, look at how funny that looks. It goes skinny and then you've got this funny little hair. So by filling this in, you actually will have the leg start in here and it will look better. Now, the problem most people do is they either leave too much in here, too much in here, not enough here, and not enough down here. So you need to have that hawk so you have that nice big flare. This will go down and flare, okay? So if you're doing a guard comb on the body, see where I'm working you cannot say you're going along the body and you get to those hip bones you can continue down and you actually can take in this area nice and snug you can tweak this a little bit for how fat this thigh is if they're skinny up here well then yeah you can leave a bit more hair I'm touching skin here. I'm starting to skim off a little bit right there. Again, I'm skimming off. I'm, see, I'm creating this, this shape in here, this angulation. Now, I'm not following right here because, well, she's got a pretty good natural angulation. But I usually like to grow this a little bit and to scissor it and give it a little bit more. But we're not actually at a 90, so you can't see that as good as I can. But by leaving hair there, if I was to take it off, you take away from here. So by leaving some hair that I can scissor it, and then having more hair here, we create that nice curve. It just has a better look. So it, you, you can actually follow almost schnauzery lines, where you're taking more hair off the back of the leg than you are off the front of the leg. Hey girl, will you wait there? So I don't tend to have it be as strong where it's not blended, but I will always make this area shorter because otherwise it's quite fat looking in there. And then once you've set in with your clippers, you can go back in and blend this all in with your scissors, right? We're growing out so we don't have a whole lot of hair to muck around with here. But especially our little, little booty cheeks. You don't have much left down there, do you? Take care of it. So roughly from the side, you've got again, this is the same length here, all the way into this back area. Short even to here, you can take this tighter if you need to. I am leaving a little bit of hair oops, up here so that I can have that bit of angulation. And you can see already where it would be nicer if she had more hair. Right? See that extra piece right there sticking out? See how it changes the shape? It affects that outline that we're looking for. So, clippers or scissors, your choice. You can skim. I'm inclined to not touch it down here because I actually want this to fill in a bit more. That's already a little bit better. Okay. Started becoming a much better shape. 